there's something now stock advance 20,000 stock tax uh, 17,000 there's a lot going on right hi guys my name is bonnie i create content around careers education with a dose of reality check if you are a retaining subscriber thank you so much for the support if you haven't subscribed already uh, guys please please do subscribe it's free and really it helps me a lot and please give this video a big thumbs up today guys i have 11 pay slips you know me i will always say on the Thing, there is 10 pay slips actually I always have a bonus pay slip so I have 11 pay slips uh, yeah so I don't want to waste um, any of your time so let's just get uh, straight into it today I brought my laptop uh, I am not using uh, my phone uh, yes I am back home uh, which is quite a, a nice um, I have a nice situation here so uh, I'll be recording often right i'll be recording like i think i'm gonna be more consistent now uh so please guys please subscribe because i'm gonna be more consistent anyway guys uh today i have a pay slip of a arts director call center uh quality controller someone who works at the call center but as a quality controller i have a cctv officer a, i have a emergency care officer a pay slip uh, most people they call these people uh, paramedics but guys, these guys, they actually have a four-year degree. <laughs> so yeah, they're gonna be sharing some insights with us as well. And then I have a key account manager payslip, a call center manager, someone who's a manager at a call center, a mechanical engineer that works in a renewable energy space, a radiographer, oh, people have been asking for this over and over. And the mechanical engineer as well, like people have been asking for it software developer i have a lot of software developer pay slips guys i think maybe i have 10 that i haven't shared you know but i just love to feature them uh, in almost every other video because they they are in different levels like software development is is broad you know they are in different levels they work in, uh, in different industries well not industries but sector uh, so I love sharing software development. Oh gosh, test, chest pains, chest pains. Solutions architects. Wow, this one. <laughs> we went viral with this one on TikTok. Uh, we went viral with this one on TikTok, like over a million views. Uh, when I shared uh, solutions architect, and I have some info, like more detailed info on it, like what you need to do, right? Um, like in terms of going to school and stuff um and then i have a supply chain uh manager okay so let's get straight into it guys um we are going to start with a radiographer okay so let's see how much a radiographer earns she's got three years experience she works in the private sector and she sent me two payslip one is of a low karma um yeah people in medical space they would know what that means um yes i have a second chair here because i need to use a mouse pad um yes so one is when she's a locama and the other one is when she's at her normal job so let's see um we'll start with the one where she's a locama locama fee is 12,430 right uh total package 12,430 uh then uh yeah so tax three thousand and net cash pay is nine thousand one hundred i was hoping to see how many hours did she do but uh, it's not showing me hours so maybe the hours are on top like the crop parts because i don't want to see other details okay now this one basic salary this is where she works like a normal workplace is 33,700 mm, meal allowance 112 a uniform allowance 225 uh, and then scarce skill I will scarce skill allowance 2,393 other allowance 620 over time 10,000 total earnings 47,800 and then she's got medical aid and then 
for medical aid she's paying 2300 um yeah and uh, her net pay is 33,614 wow okay um provident fund she's paying for provident fund um yes the company is paying for medical aid and provident fund 5300 yeah i think this is like this is comfortable and then when she's low coming she makes around 9000 and here she makes uh, her net pay here is 33000 so i think that's a nice one she's a radiographer with three years experience now let's move to a mechanical engineer that works in a re renewable energy space right so she's a he's a mechanical engineer he studied at vets five years experience right now uh he wrote i work in renewable energy industry i do feasibility studies for companies if they want to go green i do project costing and analysis electrical and mechanical design okay so let's see how much this gentleman is earning as a mechanical engineer mm, basic salary eighty thousand right uh text twenty five thousand then there's uif um yeah his net pay is fifty nine thousand seven hundred there are no other like um contributions oh okay there is not pension fund but there is medical aid a uh, contribution right um yeah so that's it guys net pay fifty nine thousand seven hundred that's a pay slip of a mechanical engineer that's working in a renewable energy space right right now let's move to supply chain manager i've posted about um yeah i think I, there is a video i'll link it somewhere with other salaries where i was talking about like where i was sharing a pay slip of someone who is junior within the supply chain space mm, okay so let's see it says this is a pay slip of a supply chain manager in a public sector which means it's a state-owned entity a hundred and thirteen is the cost to company she takes home sixty two thousand rands let's see um let's see her salary mm, okay cash salary one hundred thousand cell phone allowance 1000 rand housing allowance is 3500 or 3300 right and then there is provident fund which is 5500 medical aid 5300 and then pays you in is 31000 uh yeah and the net pay is 62800 rands guys i'm not going to be mentioning cents and stuff guys please like this video um and let me know what other professions will would you like me to cover on this channel okay and yeah please let me know in the comment section below okay so we've done mechanical engineer radiographer supply chain manager uh solutions architect is still coming up <laughs> solutions architect and software developer is still coming up uh guys let's look at a manager at a call center right uh this one caused some stay on 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 tiktok uh yeah but let me just read what this young lady wrote to me hi bonnie i work at a call center i only have metric no fancy education and that's my salary the variable pay is when i hit my kpis which is not easy so i love the fact that she mentioned that it's not easy to hit uh, so that month only five of us which are managers out of 98 could meet this target okay so the salary fluctuates obviously because we work on kpis every month and chasing targets that was my top month okay so then she said that okay fine she will show me two pay slips uh, so that i can show like sorry so that i can like yeah obviously so that i can show you guys uh, that some months are like that and some months are they look different okay 
Uh, so then what she says here is I would like to encourage young people that the call center you can leave while you are waiting for your degree or your master's. It's not that bad. Call center manager. Cash component, I'm assuming this means uh, it's your basic salary, right? Commission, okay, so cash component, 30,000. Commission, 11,000. Variable pay, 10,000. Incentive cash, 1,200, okay? Then, um, then there's canteen, 178. Advanced incentive, 1,200. Uh, okay. So total earnings here is 53,000, okay? And then total deductions, 13,000. Total net pay is 39,900, right? Mm, yeah, so that's someone, uh, so that's the first um, salary, which has like 39,000. Okay, so let's see the second one. Okay guys, so the second pay slip, I'm gonna read it from my phone because I forgot, I think, yeah, it was not downloaded here. Let's just see. Okay, cash component 30,000, variable pay 5,000, total earnings 35,000, that's it. You know, and then she's got like the normal deductions and the net pay is 27,000. So that's what she meant when she says uh, it varies, you know, so doesn't happen like that all the time okay, guys now let's move to emergency care officer right uh, those people that sometimes people call them uh, a paramedics so let's see uh, what's happening there okay so he wrote I'm employed by the KZN health and 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 okay so he wrote uh, he works for the KZN health in EMS Abandu was busy with paramedics, but we are actually emergency care officers. Under the title, we are then further divided according to level of training and treatment you can render to a patient. I'm an intermediate life, life support. I first did a one month basic course and I got employed. One month basic course and I got employed, right? I then did training as an intermediate life support, of which was a five month course right please note that this option is no longer available in south africa if you want to study you will have to do a four year degree okay four year degree he did total of six months but right now you need to do a four year degree and then he continues to say uh, we are paid according to our level of training plus years of working experience your experience is based on the current level of training. That means if you have been working for five years and then you study further, your experience will only be based on the new level of training. Okay, so he works in the ambulance and my experience is over 10 years on, on the intermediate life support level. Okay, so my brother really explained this nicely. So where he is, he's got 10 years experience with his six uh, months training okay basic salary here is 19,800 uh, over time 3,900 danger allowance 567 night shift allowance 490 and then there's another night shift uh, uh, which is 200 rand and then there's another amount shift work saturday 326 sunday 326 uh okay and then the government is contributing 1500 towards his home and then there is this np cash allowance i think this cash allowance though is no longer available which is 1300 it was to all government employees for covid relief or something uh please confirm in the comment section if this is still around but i see most people are saying it's been taken away so he gets text uh, 4,200. So let's just go to his net, guys. His gross is 28,600. And then the deductions are 7,000. And then he gets a net of 21,000. That's an emergency care officer with 10 years experience, guys. 10 years experience. And he only did a short course. There are six months. One was one month and the other one was 
uh, five months. But right now, you can only do this through a university degree. Okay, so let's look at, um, oh, I've done this one, a call center manager, I've done it. Uh, let's look at a call center quality controller, right? Uh, let's look at it. Uh, so I worked as a QA, which is quality assurance, and we are we we coach call center agents. So that's what she used to do. I think she's no longer there now. My job was to listen to calls and provide feedback. The salary fluctuated as we were paid hourly, hourly and metric was the only requirement. Uh, requirement so metric was the only requirement let's see how much she was earning so total earnings 15,000 total deductions 1,700 net pay is 16,000 uh, these two pay slips are quite similar the other one has a net pay of 14,454 so it's quite um, it's quite similar okay uh guys please 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 consider subscribing if you haven't already um yes and please like this video it does help me a lot uh we're creating this content for you and yeah guys just let me know what other payslips would you like me uh to see i do read comments uh and respond and take action uh, yes, I do read and respond. I know quite a few people have been asking me about stuff in agriculture. I am looking at it. Okay. Um, so key account manager, she has a, a master's degree. You don't really need it. A diploma will do. And then I have eight years experience in a specific industry. Right. Mm, the only thing I didn't get from this person is um which industry right but i'll go back to our chat on instagram you might find that they mentioned it uh, before this you know so this is for key account manager guys someone who's a key account manager is someone they work in the sales department they take care of the clients they get the clients and they take care of them so it's a very stressful job i'm telling you it's not it's not for everyone it's not for the faint-hearted and all the complaints that the clients have, they bring them to you. So you are the middle person between the client and uh, the company. Okay. So cash salary forty eight thousand, travel allowance seven thousand, commission seventy six thousand. Right. Um, then there is medical aid four thousand, pay you forty three thousand, and the net pay is eighty three thousand. Right. Mm, yeah guys uh, oh, as you can see there is a travel allowance guys because you travel to see clients here yeah, well, so a travel allowance is 7,000 already uh, so a total cost like, to company is 60,000 and then uh, with all the there's provident fund, there's life cover income protector funeral uh, yeah, guys travel allowance provident fund, life yeah, yeah. But the net pay this month was 83,000. And as I've mentioned, guys, this is a sales job. So it means uh, that's how much she made on that particular month. Some months might be different. Okay. So some months might be different. Um, now let's move to solutions architect. Uh, this one, I know it costs chest pains on, on TikTok. Uh, solutions architect. Uh, this young gentleman, um, he's, I don't know if he's young, yeah, but he's just a young gentleman. He's got an honors degree in computer science and mathematics and has 16 years experience, right? So that's the first thing you must note. 16 years experience and has an honors degree in com, in com science, okay? Um, then he mentioned here, one thing you should be aware of is that stock option is mostly offered by the big American companies like your Google, Microsoft, Amazon, etc. It's rare with South African companies. Okay. So what does a solutions architect do? So he mentioned him, he, he writes here. So I didn't take this explanation from Google. You know, your girl does not roll like that. 
everything i'm sent by real people and these pay slips are real disclaimer people send them to me for educational and awareness purposes okay uh, so solutions role uh, solutions architects role is to look uh look at business uh, to look at uh, business problems and design computer systems or applications that can address that particular problem they look at tech stack scalability cost reliability resilience and usability so that's what they do as solutions architects guys you, you are not playing house here you know you are not playing house so let's see how much are you earning now as solutions architect with 16 years experience and honors degree in com science okay uh cash component basic salary 267 000 fuel card 4 000 cell phone 2600 stock options 37 000 <laughs> you jesus Total earnings, 300,000. <laughs> yes, sir. Magical age, 8,300. Uh, total PEX, 28,400. Uh, provident fund, 20,000. Medical age, I have mentioned that. Disability, what, what, 2,300. Skills development what what 1600 right so total company contributions 146000 but let's just guys i don't wanna like confuse you now like there's a lot happening <laughs> there's a lot going on <laughs> there's a lot going on guys there's something now stock advance 20000 stock tax uh, 17,000 there's a lot going on right so total deductions guys from 300,000 it's 121,000 and the net pay is 162,000 <laughs> yes <sir. laughs> total deductions 121,000 and the net is 162,000. That's a salary of a solutions architect, guys. You've been asking me on TikTok about this. Only now I can like, you know, I did well do this on the TikTok. Okay, guys. So let's move. Let's move, guys. Let's move. Let's move to a CCTV officer. Hi, Bonnie. I have sent you to CCTV officer. Uh, yeah okay so this requires on the metric uh yeah the security industry is in bed um, i feel it's undermined a lot okay thank you thank you for sharing this so let's look at the first pay slip yo button okay let's see let's see let's see hey guys basic salary twelve thousand basic pay non-pensionable 13,000 rate to 26,000 company contribution 5,000 housing allowance 6,300 overtime rate 26,000 uh okay there's a lot going on there's a shift allowance uh there's a lot going on guys so let's just go to uh Ilona name let's just go to total earnings right so that i don't confuse you so cctv officer total earnings fifty thousand and seven hundred rand total deductions fourteen thousand nine hundred take home thirty five thousand seven hundred and you only need metric right let's see the other one the other one is quite similar this one the take home is 31,500 and their total income was 42,900 rents cctv officers get guides and you only need metric don't say i did not tell you 
don't say i did not tell you let me know if you want more on this career and i will find a uh, more information for you oh don't jay don't be shy just let me know in the comment section and i will find more information for you guys let's quickly move to a ads director okay so she wrote um hi sis bonnie i love your work i come to you with a payslip from a black child um from the black child uh don't go there to this sector called marketing how guys <laughs> why are you discouraging us <laughs> i was never ready you know i have six years experience here and i'm an as director i hope this can stop us of being played and more people can see and fight more if anyone wants to go into advertising i suggest you live at home as it will make e things easier for you uh, especially because you work from home anyway so as director in an advertising agency i know it will differ from other ads di directors in a client side uh, so she studied i'm gonna explain to you what she means about client side mm, she studied at vega ba uh, bachelor of arts creative and brand communication and she specialized in arts direction and she even did honors you know and she says she does not recommend it yo you know your yeah, are not recommended for the black child <laughs> she has honors okay guys before i go to a salary let me just explain quickly to you what she means when she says maybe it's better from the client side and i know it is better so when you work in advertising or marketing uh you would work for an agent then it means when you are doing you are getting a lot of jobs from different companies they outsource things to you so mostly like the pay is much lesser compared to when you go and work in the in that particular company as an in-house marketing or advertising person right so when you are in-house most of the time you have more benefits and stuff and the salary is good but the one thing as a person who, who works in marketing uh, in a marketing agency though i've left uh but uh, i was working there you will get more experience if you are in an agency so i think it's a good start especially when you are much younger right uh, the pressure is really really high it's a highly highly high pressure environment but you learn a lot okay uh, you just need to be strong here okay so basic salary 33,000 and then pay as you earn is 6,100 uh, total deduction 6,300 with the UIF there is no contribution nothing zero zero medical aid contribution zero a uh, pension fine zero 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 so the net pay here is 26,600 for someone guys who has a honors degree so do you see why drunk uncle will say not bad not good for the black child but anyway i see collab but anyway i see collab guys let's look at a software developer now let's look at a software developer chest pains once again you know tech industry pay slips will always give you chest pains shame this guy has six years experience and i know um, he did com science he's a contractor mm, so he's not gonna have like a lot of deductions um 100 191 thousand and then he got tax 70 thousand and his net is 121 thousand but he has no benefits because he is a contractor <clears throat> okay guys i think that's it for the day uh, i've covered 10 11 salaries for you uh please consider subscribing if you haven't already and please like and i'll see you on the next one bye bye